What is up guys, it's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're gonna to be looking at Samuel and he's one of my favorite champions. Great for PvE content, great for dungeons, um, great for Doom Tower and Hydra. Uh, this is like sort of the build we got. So he's like a high damage build in stone skin in a slow build. But let's just jump into some um, arena first. Just see what we can do with him. And I know He's going to be really good against Taris. So let's just quickly build a team out for this. And I feel that just because of the way that Samuel is, you know, that he's going to need backup. I think if you're going to use him in arena, you need to go double nuke. Um, otherwise, he because he's single target, you know, they've got a reviver or they've got a few revivers. You're not going to be able to, to get that W. So monkeys down, they're gonna block the revive. That's all good. Wukong's gonna come up anyway. And let's just see sort of the damage that we can do to Taris. Yeah, he's gonna be the tankiest one. And that was just a tickle. You know, triple hitter, and we did like, you know, 100K a hit, and that's on our big hitting ability. Now let's just compare it to Wukong and yeah, he just wiped the team and that was like, you know, a big 100k hit on Taris and then obviously the damage that goes over goes across the team. Big, big difference. So yeah, I feel that I wouldn't really be using Shamuel in arena with this build. I wouldn't use him in arena full stop to be honest, but Doom Tower he is an absolute beast. So let's just go on to floor 119. Quickly just build a team out for him. Okay, so this is the team we got. We've got Duchess. I pulled her recently. I can't help myself. I have to put her in the team. She's so much fun. And uh, we've got Yakul, who we're going to use as CC. And if anyone has um, their tummy above 75%, he throws out a freeze that cannot be resisted. We've got Wukong in the lead, who's going to be doing some big damage. So that's 300k and spread across the team and did a good chunk of damage. Let's see what sort of the damage that Samuel is going to do. And that was like 70 to 90k a pop, and it's a triple hitter. And then we just got um, Ulmer Death Knight in there just to provide some healing, just in case um, Duchess can't tank. tank. You know, she can only take it so much. So we just need to quickly get down. For, is it Frozen Banshee? It looks like Frozen Banshee. Get her down as quickly as possible. And then the other great thing about Samuel as well, we're going to be boosting whoever's in the lead. They are going to get their turn meter boosted. And that just makes a huge, huge difference. And Ulmer Death Knight is going to eat all of these single hits from Mountain King and Rotos. They're not going to do a thing to us. So I'm going to try and strip. No, my Wukong, he's built for damage. He's a Nuki Kong. And then what we're going to do is let's focus Sifi. Oh, that was not a lot of damage. Okay, so obviously she's got defense up. We don't have, he's not in Savage. So yeah, didn't do too much damage. But yeah, let's just whack it in auto. Try and take her out first. But yeah, so I definitely feel like if you are going to bring Samuel into um, into Doom Tower, he needs a you need to go double nuke. Um, he can only carry, like, you know, he's a single target champion. He can only really pick off one person at a time. And if there's like a reviver like Sifi or whoever's in the waves, you need to be able to take them out first. And if there's two... They're going to revive the other one back up. So it's going to cause problems. So yeah, it's definitely the way you want to go. And yeah, I think it's going to take a while. Let, I'll cut back to once we've, you know, once we've cleared this wave. One of the hardest floors and Samuel's helped us clear it. So Wukong doing 1.3 million damage. Obviously he's a beast and he hits like a truck. 
and he is built way better than my Samuel, but Samuel, obviously, he's not doing AoE damage. He's a single target. But he's still done 571, you know, K. That's respectable. And Yakel's done more damage as well, so 861. But again, Yakel, you know, he's doing AoE damage, and he's built way better than my Samuel as well, and he's built faster. But Samuel, he's still, you know, he can literally just nuke down one single target, there's no way they're going to survive it. But yeah, great. Still, he is still a solid champion. So let's go over his skills before we look at gear and masteries. So his passive, each critical hit fills this champion's turn meter by 7.5%. Whenever an ally receives a fear or true fear debuff from an enemy, this skill will instantly remove the debuff and fill the ally's turn meter by 15%. That is huge especially for Hydra, you know, the head of fear is constantly popping off and whoever you put in the lead, he's just going to constantly fill their turn meter. Uh, I usually like to put a control champion with Hydra in the lead. So, or a champion that's going to boost turn meter for the whole team like Necmo. Um, but yeah, you can also, he pairs up really nicely with Cantra as well. So you want to use her to get like loads of provokes and throw out loads of debuffs as well. They are a great combo. So A2, Attacks one enemy three times, will ignore 25% of the target's defense, will ignore a further 25% of the target's defense for each buff on this champion. So we've already got a buff from Stone Skin. All we need to do is bring in champions that are going to put on more buffs on us, like a Lydia, you know, any champion that's going to throw a load of buffs on us. That's what you want to bring in. And we'll end up ignoring 100% of the target's defense. That's one of the reasons why he can just smack so hard. Um, and if we kill the enemy, we're also going to throw true fear debuffs on all the enemies as well. That is just huge. Huge for, you know, Doom Tower waves. And if you're using him for Arena, pretty strong for that as well. His A1 attacks one enemy, has a 50% chance of decreasing the duration of a random buff on the type by one turn. Uh, books up to 75% chance. Uh, so that's why I like to put a little bit of accuracy on him. Every time an enemy places a debuff on an ally, uses this skill against that enemy, these counter attacks will deal 50% of the normal damage and cannot be critical. So basically, you know, it's going to reduce the amount of damage that we do. But it's still fine, you know, still doing a little bit. We're chipping away. If there are multiple champions in the team with this skill, only one champion's counter attacks will activate. So that's fine. But um, yeah, but it's all about him just boosting the lead champion in the lead and he self, you know, he self boosts as well. And for blessings, I like Phantom Touch. It just means that he's going to do a little bit more damage. The other way you can go is you can go for Cruelty as well. So Cruelty will help us do more damage. And you can also go Crushing Rend as well. So they're two good ways to just do more damage on him. So yeah, so we've gone for Stone Skin. So Stone Skin, you know, it protects us for one turn. And then we've got that buff as well. So it means we're going to ignore 25%, um, you know, we're going to ignore 25% of the target's defense anyway, because we've got Stone Skin buff on us as well. So substats you want to be looking for are speed, crit rate, crit damage, and attack percentage. Um, we've got crit, crit damage gloves, attack percentage chest piece, and attack boots. Uh, ideally, this should actually be an attack ring. I need to swap it out. But um, yeah, we've got an HP one for now. Crit damage uh, amulet. It was the best piece that I had at the time. Ideally, we want something that's going to have subs in accuracy so we can, you know, that will help benefit on the A1. And then we've got an attack banner. Total stats, we've got 44k HP, 5.2k attack. Again, we could bump that up with the attack ring. Uh, 147 speed so you could push that a little bit faster maybe go for 180 if you get 180 and he's self buffing you know you're just going to have to cycle so quickly um but we've got 150 ish so it's okay it's it, i've been like for hydra it's amazing and it's good enough for doom tower as well 100 well crit capped 267 crit damage would like to bump that up a little bit as well so you could do some more damage so these are like the masteries we've gone for. So we've got defense, we've got blast proof, um, which is going to help us with Hydra. 
rejuvenation so any shields and healing we receive as well is going to be bumped up a little bit uh, resurgence one of the best masteries in the game um, if we take a big hit and you know we've got a stun on us or sleep or whatever um, we take a big hit we have a good chance of removing that buff um, it's, it is one of the best buff, uh, masteries in the game delay death you know this is going to help us take less damage over time uh, retribution and deterrence so we can pop off with counterattacks then we've got you know crit rate crit damage we're taking life drinker just to heal us up if we're a little bit low on hp cycle violence so we can cycle back around to the a2 and then we're going to go all the way down into war masters um, obviously this is because we're going to be using for hydra and for doom tower waves and we can, there's some bosses that you can use them for as well but yeah but yeah war master is really going to help bump up the damage we do and i just want to show you well, I've got three Samuels. That's how much I love him. But if we go into Hydra, and I'll show you how many teams that I've got him in. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine teams that I have Samuel in. That is how much of a boss he is. And they're all built differently. So we've got, you know. This is my damage one. I've got one built in a Guardian set. I think both of them are actually built in Guardian sets. But um, yeah, but they're both viable. I I definitely actually prefer to go for a damage route now. I just feel like, you know, it just helps more. And it's sort of speed. If you go the other way, it's like quite slow and tanky. So you go full damage, it definitely, it just speeds things up so much, so much better. But anyway. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe. And I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.